Hello, this is Daniel and I wanted to show you a little experiment I'm doing to try to make it easier to import characters into a scene. So the first thing I'll do, since this is a fresh file, is uh, saving a new scene file, maybe uh, layout test. And then I'm, I'm going to uh, link the characters. Uh, I'm already inside uh, Frank Sheep rig.blend so I'll go ahead and link this uh, character group here it is and next we'll do the same for uh, Victor so here they are so this is uh, all normal uh, but what I did is if you save right now and reload the uh, characters actually made uh, uh, a lot of uh, useful things for you. They uh, have automatically created a proxy for each character. They were also located in the center of the scene, which is uh, something you should do before creating a proxy, but if you do not do it, um, it will create problems later on. So that's done automatically. It's already in post mode even. Um, also, each character has its uh, own UI already loaded and working. So, for example, uh, show the wool. And same for Victor. And what else? Uh, the actual um, armature proxy is, uh, as I said, uh, clear from all transformations and it's also locked so you don't make any mistake you can only move it in post mode and the uh, actual uh, character or dupli uh, object is uh, unselectable so it's not uh, getting in the way all the time when animating uh, also a few other things like I disable the relationship lines automatically which is something useful for rigging but not for animation normally and made the uh, dupli objects empty way smaller so it doesn't uh, show a giant empty so I, I hope this is useful and saves a few a few steps each time uh, someone creates a scene uh, if uh, at any moment it, this is not needed anymore I can just disable it from from the rig, it should be no problem. 